Hey guys, today we'll be learning how to estimate quotients with two-digit divisors. Now the keywords that we have in here are estimating quotients and two-digit divisors. Estimating immediately tells us that we're going to be rounding numbers. And two-digit divisors tells us that, the num that our dividends are going to be divided by numbers that hold two digits. So just to start off, we're going to start with some basic questions. So that way we can learn it and then we'll move on into further problems. Let's say we have 434 divided by 23. All right. Now we're going to estimate these quotients. Now the first thing that we're going to take a look at are our um, dividend and our divisor. We know 434 is our dividend and 23 is our divisor. Now since we're working with two digit divisors, that we know that 23 is two digits because 2 is one digit and then 3 is one digit, right? So 1 plus 1 is 2. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make range, number ranges, or like you could call them number lines, but I just prefer to call them number ranges because you're making a range of data here. So first we're going to start off with our dividend, 434. Just make a line down. Now in this case, let's say we're rounding to the nearest tenths place. What are the nearest tenths for 434? That would be 430. So that's 430, and this will be 440. In the middle would be, sorry, 435, right? Now just using our common sense here, we know that 434 is less than 435. It has to be somewhere in this range, right? So I guess it'll somewhere go over here, right? So this um, range of data, this number range, tells us that 434 is closer to 430 than it is to 440. That's why we will round this to 430. That means 430 is the nearest tenths place for 434. So this equals 430. Now we're going to do the same thing for 23. Let's make a line down. Now the nearest tenths for 23 will be 20 and 30. In the middle will be 25. Um, yes, 25. 23 should be somewhere around here because 23 is less than 25, so probably over here somewhere. Now this tells us that 23 is going to be closer to 20, right? So we will just write this as 20. Now we're just done. Now this is our estimated problem. We're not done with our answer yet. So now all we do is do simple division. Now in our previous videos, we talked about zeros in our problems and how to handle them. Now we can see that 430 has one zero and 20 has one zero. Rather than having to do, like, you know, it's gonna sometimes can be a little complicated when you know using all these big numbers. All we can do is just simply cut the zeros off one by one, right? Now we have 43 and two, two left. That means it'll become 43 divided by two. All we will do now is do simple division. So here, let's write 43 as our dividend and two as our divisor. Now let's consider number four first. How many times is 2 going? 4, 2 times, right? Because 2 times 2 is 4, so we'll subtract that, we get 0, and then we bring down 3. How many times is 2 going to 3? 1 time, because 2 times 1 is 2. Now we have 1 left. Now here we have an option whether we want to make this into decimals, or we want to just leave this as it is. If we were to leave this as it is, then our answer, which means our quotient, Right? Our quotient would become 21, that's our quotient, and then we're going to look at our remainder, which is 1, and then over our divisor, 2. That means this would become our estimated quotient. But you know what, in this video I'm just going to give you guys a boost up and I'm going to tell you how to make this in decimals. All we're going to do is simply add a decimal point here to our quotient, and this decimal point allows us to come back here to our remainder and add a 0. Now we know that we can do 2 and 10, right? We can divide 10 by 2 because 2 times 5 equals 10. All we're going to do after the decimal point, we're going to put 5 because 2 times 5 is 10. Put the 10 here, and now we do not have a remainder, so that's canceled out. That means that our decimal quotient for our um, estimated quotient for 434 divided by 23 here would be 21, so over here, estimated. would be 21.5. So that was really easy, right? Now, if you want to find out more um, examples on doing these um, estimating quotients with 2D divisors, then you can visit our website, and we'll see you guys next time.